Rick Race 7, and welcome back to Rule of Waves 3 as we continue our nautical adventures and colonial expansion as Spain. And we are, of course, entangled with uh, a war with the French in late 1933 as we rejoin the action. We are going carrier hunting. So the French have decided to try and invade Corsica. I was going to say for the second time, it's for a second invasion attempt. I think the first one might have been. Algeria, but their second invasion attempt, the first one did not go well for them. We're hoping this one doesn't go well for them either. At our disposal, we've got our heavy hitters. We've got the new battleship from Neptuno and our our old reliables, these battle clu cruisers, the Andalusia and the Asturias, uh, and we also have what little remains of our air fleet in terms of the CVL Adelbert. Now, the indications we had in the Battle of Genera, but the French were bringing one fleet carrier, two escort carriers, uh, and one heavy cruiser. I'm in some screens. So this theoretically gives us a good opportunity to try and find and close with and sink some of their carriers uh, using surface combat. And it's probably getting to the realms of we may not get many more opportunities of this as air ranges increase and increase and increase. Um, the reason we don't have any heavy ships is because we've sunk them all, so that's quite promising uh, but we all still need to find our carriers um the other thing also lots of air bases in and around us however the french only have medium bombers uh, situated at these ones on um, the south of france which are still a threat but i feel less of a threat than torpedo bombers and dive bombers so we may i think have the edge with land base air as well we have got what four hours and change until dusk so we've got a little bit of time to try and find our location uh, and the weather is yeah, absolutely fine for late November. So, first thing we'll do, let's uh, bring up our searching, see what the searching says. Uh, uh, okay. I don't think we need to do quite this wide a cone. Let's bring this one back around like so. I think that's reasonable. Um, we can bring a range in scooch. I'm I'm really quite happy to use Adelbear here really as more of a search rather than a strike. I can't remember exactly how many planes she has. I don't think it's that many. I'll check in a minute. Um, we'll go for, probably go for a heavy cap. And I'm probably going to pull it out over the battle fleet as well. Right, so we'll click OK for this. We'll, of course, get search for land-based air as well. Neptuno here, let's say you guy, you can get the cap. Uh, oh, actually, land base camp as well. You, why don't you? No, if I go here, I can provide cap to the Neptuno. Ta-da! And why don't I say the Asturias here? You guys can get land base cap if anyone's in range, and they might be. We're quite close to bases. Cool. Uh, if we have a look at what's actually on the Adelbear, well, we've got one wing essentially. So we're going to lose half of these guys in scouting. So let's grab one wing and see where it, you guys can be can ready to strike. You are going to be up against probably quite a lot of cap. So I don't know if we'll send out, but we shall see. I have got control over my heavy ship. So let's bring you up to 20 knots. I don't really have a new course for you right now. So just keep steaming the way you're steaming. And is this kind of coastal support forces we have? Ah, just a bunch of corvettes. Okay. Excellent. So we do need to find and sink some transports. At the same time, we uh, we really, really want the carriers. So that's going to. I think that could change the balance of of uh, of kind of fleets and strategic balance, not only in the Mediterranean but but really worldwide. This would open the open the floodgates, I think, for some more uh, invasion shenanigans from our land based comrades. Okay. We found a ship. I'm guessing probably heavy cruiser. That looks like it might be their convoys. Okay. So well, we can get in and maybe cause a bit of damage here. Early doors, not a problem. Just a light cruiser. Uh, I'm going to bring you. Uh, you can come across the way. I just the only thing I worry about is getting too close to these smaller ships and their torpedoes. Yeah, we have got some torpedo bombers ready. I mean, we could just send them out against the transports. Feels a bit of a waste. OK, 
Okay, we've spotted apparently a couple of seaplane tenders. Really? No, they're all, re they're all uh, resolving into merchant transports, which makes a whole bunch of sense. I'm going to have you come down here into that little nook of land. So you are close, but not too close. Okay, and we're continuing just to hit them. The, the question, as ever, as always, is where is... Where are the carriers? Right, and we'll just keep sailing around. Keep reasonable distance. That light cruiser is going to sink sooner rather than later. A few destroyers in here we just have to be careful with. So that's about it. Certainly had no other spots though. Oh, CV spot down here. The question is who are we going to send down for that? What's your max speed? Uh, 23. What is your max speed? 24. Not much between it. I think we're going to send these battle cruisers down. Let's get your speed up one knot and you're going to head to south. I'm going to keep our Neptuno here. It's just going to keep harassing the convoy. Are you actually firing at the convoy? Uh, is this view? No. Maybe if I come, I think I may have to come closer so you're within secondary range before you'll actually fire. There we go. It doesn't want to waste its primaries on these targets, which I suppose is okay. We just have to probably babysit that to make sure we don't cause ourselves some problems. Okay, it's definitely in this area somewhere. You know what, let's go flank speed. Don't need to worry about keeping gunner actually just now. Get down there, find them. And unleash hell. We're mainly picking on the uh, destroyers at the minute. Enemy aircraft approaching Velasco. Which one is that? Where is my Velasco? Tanto, Vichuruka, Velasco. Okay, so it's these guys. Which makes sense. They're the ones, that, I suppose it's the closest one to them. They are a bit of a threat. And we will have to... I, I expect we're going to take a little bit of damage here. We'll have to see how that goes. Oh, we actually got hit by that the Dekar there. Okay, dive bomb attacking... Oh, the Neptuno! Okay, that's interesting. Didn't get a warning about that. Uh, ow! Uh, three bomb hits. That's uh, that's pretty rough. Fairly small bombs then, because they're not causing us too much problems. But that um, that was unpleasant. I saw a thing about fire there. Fire is out. Okay, good. Uh, why don't we, I want to sink some more of these transports for upsetting me how little damage we're doing to them, so let's use our torpedo bombers just to go after them. I would like you to target just over here, we'll be fine. Go for transports, please. Don't worry about coordinates, the strike and just go. Let's start sinking some of these pretty, please. Right, we'll continue to babysit Neptuno. We are hitting the Descartes a little bit here and there. Again, not the ideal ship for dealing with all these light forces. Okay, someone's attacking my Corvette. I'm not so worried about that. And again. Our Barcelo has been hit by a bomb. Near miss, okay. I'm okay for them to waste their torpedoes and things on, on my Corvette. Corvette's being attacked, that's fine. We can need to do small amounts of work here. You know, I think I might. 
I might try and force you to attack some of the transports uh, here. Really have a division target. If I gave you a target and said, hey, why don't you sink this? The large one should help you hit it. And we said, okay. Are you going to start firing your 16 inches? You are. Oh no, you're firing 16 inch guns at the destroyer. I mean, okay. We're also getting a little bit close for comfort. More aircraft attacking our corvettes. Right, well, how are these uh, scouting reports looking? So we've got half 12, 1 o'clock, 1 o'clock. Hmm, okay. Another 1 o'clock down here. Half 1. Seems to still be just kind of in this area. All right, just head down here then, fast as you can. How, long, how much light have we got left? Two hours still. I want to find them before it gets dark. One of our corvettes getting lit up by a few bombs there, a couple of dive bombers, okay. This day has been hit a few times now, yeah, showing heavy damage. Another three hits there, including two 16 shells. Oh, that's going to be uh, that's going to be pretty bad news for it. What size are you? Oh, yeah, only five thousand tons. I dare say there's probably not much time left for you. And there she's dead in the water. Uh, more aircraft attacking with poor corvettes who are taking the brunt of the French air attacks here. I'm okay with that. Dud bomb on the. Oh, Gornero. Okay, and our torpedo bombers have turned up, so hopefully they'll sink a few transports. Because I do need to sink them at some point. Ah, there we go. We finally hit it. That's from our Lepanto. Right, what have we got going on down here? Four medium bombers have turned up. We can harass our strike force. Let's make sure you're still staying out of trouble. Uh, but you can come down to 20 knots, I think. Oh, so our torpedo bombers going in over here. What I would give for a cruiser, or what I wouldn't give for a cruiser, I should say. Okay, medium bombers, level bomb is Sturious. Doesn't look like they've hit anything, which is nice. Uh, or to be the one to attack a destroyer. That was not your orders. Uh, we've got a little bit of cap fighting going on here. Wonder where that is. Mm, I'm not sure actually. Could be over the Neptuno. Could be over the uh, Adelbear herself. The Bustamante. Now, who are you supporting? Ah, so it's up here. Torpedo bombers coming in. Okay. Destroyers avoiding torpedoes. We got away with it. That's fine. Not the end of the world if Adelbert takes a hit or two. Even if we lost her, we'd be, we'd be fine. She's a bit dated now. Oh, granted, she's the only air asset we've got, so perhaps I shouldn't wish her away. How are you getting on? So our... <laughs> our destroyer's in about here doing what it can. I think they're probably going to get to their destination at this point. But it's okay, we can sink them after the fact. I do want to find... These carriers, where are you? That was the last report I had, it was all the way down. No, it's a light cruiser, whereas the CV one last we had was here, okay. E, CV, 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 and they're all kind of here. Come on, pick a spot. Six airships of Airship Squadron from Benfico base are approaching enemy ships. Attacking okay. your transport. Oh, excellent, that's good. I do appreciate that work. Let's 
cut back just so we're clear of those destroyers there. Don't know what you are. Oh, I've lost my battle cruisers. Here we go. Come on. Either bombing the light cruiser, which is already dead in the water. Hmm. No door to port. Right. Now we're gonna have to go searching. Let's get you off. You're on screen. That's fine. You're gonna go this way. You're also on screen information. Search. Uh, oh, uh, screen is half. We do search line actually. No. Okay. Screw it is. You're going to go that way. Let's get you guys up to squad max. Nighttime is rapidly coming. I want to find these things. Oh, here it comes. Darn it. Approaching enemy ships, oh, is it more, more transports, okay. Ah. Sure, we'll pick up some survivors. Ah. Uh. I can't believe I haven't found them. And there comes the night. Okay. That's slightly disappointing. I'm not sure as much we can do about it. We will probably be able to kick hang them to morning. The problem is by morning the time morning comes, who knows where they're gonna be. We we'll be back in air control, we'll gather our forces together again. I don't want my battle cruisers bumping into the destroyers in the darkness. Let's just bring you due north. You can slow down. Uh you can probably just come out hang over here. <clears throat> and let's get you back to port. Or back to the vicinity of port, I should say. I'm going to spend my nights doing not very much, and we'll see what morning brings. Or maybe I'll just uh, skip ahead to him. Ah, morning came and went. Searches went out. We didn't find anything. Snare over. Ugh. I feel I have a real, a real chance there. I'm interested to see where they ended up. I'll have to look at that. Okay, in terms of damage, uh, we lost two corvettes. We sunk for light cruiser, destroyer, and auxiliary. Oh, they're going to claim a victory here. Interesting. Guess we didn't sink enough of the transports. I see, did we sink any of the transports? Uh, why are they a victor here? They failed to reach for objective. Okay, we did get 7,000 points for seven surviving merchants. And that's just tipped into their favor. Yeah, because we had 13,000 points. Yeah, here we go. And then they've 7,648 plus the 7,000 gives them just the victory. Eh, okay, that's a bit annoying. Like I said, if we, uh, yeah, lack of cruisers or even just more destroyers, I think we could have done, or if we hadn't been chasing those CVs, we could have wrecked that uh, transport fleet. But it's fine. We went after the big prize, we didn't get it. Uh, let's show me. Can really see the ship details? Not particularly. View map. Oh, they ended up over here. Show me where they went. Uh, just big ships. So. Have one. Where did we get? We were down here, kind of three o'clock. And they were over here. 
We weren't we weren't a million miles away. Four o'clock, four o'clock. Oh, that's probably the closest here. Five o'clock, five o'clock. And even then we both turned north, six and six. That's probably well it's when darkness came actually, so we can we weren't we weren't gonna see them then. Oh yeah, it's my that must be my three o'clock in there, three o'clock. So that's yeah, we got close. Just not close enough. Yeah, and that would have been a tasty couple of prizes there. Okay, let's see what effect this has. And I wonder if they'll get the, um, yeah, it makes no difference. That's fine. Actually get the invasion. They did get the invasion. Oh, interesting. Okay. Negotiate peace without border changes or reparations. I, I think we've got the edge. I'm going to say no. Total victory. Excellent. Scuttled the peace negotiations. And we're okay there. And the Hinkle is a better dive bomb than ours. I think we're only, we haven't even built a dive bomber yet, if I remember correctly. We've still got the Japanese ones. And there is a chunk of raiding going on, so we'll have to watch our unrest. But it seems to be okay. Right, fine. We are building more corvettes, but we're going to have a little bit of shortage of, for, of things on foreign stations. Uh, yeah, Corsica has been invaded. I, I think we should be okay defending it. We can win some more fights. As long as we won't get too much nonsense from the battle generator. But yeah, we really lack anything. <laughs> we like, just lack ships. We lack ships. Uh, we're invading over here. I can't really afford to pull my heavy cruisers out of here, actually. Where are all my light cruisers? Probably doing... Colonial service stuff. All of them. I've got two. One of which, yeah, one of which it seems stuck. Which is frustrating. And I don't know if it's because of the size of our ports from West Africa. I don't know if it's a bug. Uh, I don't remember seeing anything about being interned. But Puerto Rico has been on three months repair for a long time now. And then we've got the Baltico who's doing trade protection in the Caribbean. And we're still at 4,000 tons short in West Africa, apparently. And I'm not sure there's much I can really do about that. Uh, quick look in the areas for foreign station requirements. Is there anywhere I have too much? Well, obviously, Southeast Asia, uh, the Caribbean. Ian. There's one ship I've got in the Caribbean. No. I've got these two as well. Do I need you in the Caribbean? What's my Caribbean requirements? Uh, where are we? Do, 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 do. Here, overview. Caribbean requirements are 6,000. Ah, uh, okay. But what I could do is take the... Corvette from the Caribbean, send them to West Africa. Go to West Africa. And then you'll certify West Africa and the Baltic on its own will sort out the Caribbean. Okay, and that'll put us to be good in one month. Fine. Monthly balance is healthy. Putting up some funds, we're doing okay. Yeah, we'll take the little prestige ship for one. Okay, convoy defense. Okay. I've got all my ships, they've got all theirs, sure. All the winters and see what actually spawns. One heavy cruiser. I'm sorry, you're giving me four destroyers. Well, this seems ridiculous. All right, we're going to accept. And part and parcel, this is the way heavy, that... Um, Convoy defenders go is that the attacker has a greater. F Actually, no, that's not always true. The attacker is not always a greater force than defender. Like, usually, it's the other way around. Or maybe I'm just always on the wrong end of the uh, of the equation. Or maybe you know it's entirely confirmation bias, right? So really, we're going to have to hope and pray for. Support from our ship, from our land based air. Where's our. Presumably, this is our compound slot flag. Okay. Right. That looks like to be some French destroyers. One, two, 
want to keep it a reasonable distance. Uh, presumably, one is there just destroyers? Just destroyers. Right, what I'd like you to do is hold your torpedo fire. Max minus two. Uh, okay, I, I don't know how well we're built for this. What have we got? Four inches. So it's three dual turreted four inches. So it's not too bad, actually. You have got more four inches. Actually, that's disappointing. You've got eight to our, to our six. Are they all the same? Yeah, insane Henry. Okay, so they do have us outgunned here. But if we can do some perhaps clever things where we bring lots of our guns to bear against a small number of theirs. Oh, that's not ideal. Looks like someone hit our rudder. Although I'm not seeing huge amounts of hit. Although maybe because of destroyers. Right, can you please come down this way? Right, I don't want to go broadside to broadside. Oh, so let's just uh, increase the range a little bit. Come on, see to Oh, no, it's night time. Fine. Looks like we're just going to do defensive duties. We have some more uh, some more destroyers down here, at least. It'll help even the odds a little bit. All we really want to do is keep them away from our transports. I am sinking them would be nice, but I'd rather keep hold of mine than necessarily sink theirs. All right, so I'm going to spend the rest of this evening zigzagging behind my convoy. At least we'll get the victory, which will help our land battle, even if we don't sink many ships. Okay, and as exciting as this is, perhaps I shall cut away and we can come back in the morning. And we didn't even get to morning. Scenario over. A pretty dull bore, to be honest. But we should have a clear victory from all our surviving merchants. Yep, we didn't lose a single ship, which is nice. And uh, we won the damage stakes as well, actually. That's good to see. I don't think we were particularly close to perhaps sinking anything. Yeah, nowhere close. But that's fine. We did what we needed to do. We get some victory points, because why not? Our A guns are better. And hopefully this is sword at Korsk as well. We have Italian medium bomber. Don't really care too much about that. Apparently the US has a nice medium bomber. And we're doing some red. French continue to raid us. Okie doke. No change here. I'm hoping at some point we just get the, v the victory here as well because they are unopposing us. But we shall see. At least we're winning the uh, combat up here. And do we have a heavier weight? 48 versus... Oh no, 87. That's oh, all the light cruisers. Yeah, love to sink more of them. Okay, enemy coastal raid battle in support of land combat. This time we reckon they're bringing their heavy cruiser, light cruisers. Wow, we're bringing everything. Okie doke. Let's see what you've got. We get the. Okay, we've just got our battle cruisers and a reasonable screen. I'm happy with that. No change possible. Let's go. Please continue to attack enemy ships. It is. It is night time. Interesting. Uh, we will request land base cap. And presumably they're coming to attack some of these points. But I think we'll just potter about at reasonable speed with some screen protection and see what happens. Potentially not a lot. At least our Zeppelin's still fly at night. I don't know how much vision they've got. But... 
weather limits air operations. That's fantastic. Keep our planes grounded. So it doesn't necessarily prohibit our land-based air from taking off. Okay, I'm going to uh, put a cut until we find something. Okay, so it's still middle of the night time, but we're starting to get these messages of unknown ships fires at land target. I think this is the in installation they're attacking down here. So we are steaming south as quickly as we can, which has been kind of bombing up and down the coast. Uh, fires that destroyer. His ship, which destroyer? I wonder if I've got the um, key. Oh, okay, there's a few. Hang on, what? I think there's people up here. Do you have a couple of forces on the go? Oh, it does say you stop shooting at this one. Damn, this darkness. Oh, it does say we're out here. Okay. Going in which direction? Going north and north. All right, let's head north then. Okay, so you reckon they're right in close here. Oh, let's find out. Oh, yeah, we've been hit here. Excellent. Uh, Velasco sights... Oh, an own ship and is launching torpedoes. Hello. What are you? What time of day is it? Five hours still. I'm going to pull away a little bit. Well, I really want to know what this is. Oh, whatever else we didn't hit it. Oh god, that's a destroyer. Awkward. It's making me very nervous. We could just take off one of our our um one of our destroyer elements. Right, who the heck is shooting at this thing? And how is anyone shooting at this thing? The sight ranges are so small. Okay, they're all mine. Well, four and a half hours. Unknown ship fires at land target. Oh! I wonder if they have to attack them both. I don't know. I feel like I'm chasing ghosts at the minute. It's not a pleasant feeling in the slightest. Yeah, this is claiming to be under fire. Right, we've found something. We're reporting... what are we reporting? Heavy cruiser and three light cruisers. I doubt that very much, but... We're not even shooting at wherever that was. Oh, I long for morning. How about... Got two hours. Okay. I just want to kind of keep them away from installations until morning and then we can engage them. I don't like the idea of trying to really get into a knife fight. Someone else is complaining of being shot at. Okay, we think that's a light cruiser. Torpedoes away from our destroyers. Good quick thinking though, I appreciate that. 
Uh, let me slow things down a little bit. Well, it is indeed a light cruiser. We'd love for our stewardesses to get some shells in here. Uh, it is unfortunately doing horrible things to our destroyer, so that looks like a nice torpedo spread. Oh, terrible timing. Nope, it just uh, sailed over top of all our torpedoes, as it loves to do. Okay. Fine. We'll get our vengeance shortly. Okay, kind of actually staying out its way a little bit. Until morning comes. One morning, you're almost here. Five minutes, here we go. We got our sight lines back. We can actually bring our big guns to bear. Whoa. Right. Hello, good morning. What have we got? Is it an actual CL? We pretty confident it is. Whatever it is, it's dead. No, it was just a destroyer. Okay. Let's steam north. Let's go. Uh, Let's go squad max until we find something. Back up to normal speed. We're in full brightness now. Problem is they may have just run. I wonder if we lost a covert or something. Or if they lost a destroyer actually. Let's see if we get any scouting reports. That was from last night. Let's get rid of those. We can see the fresh ones turn up, if they turn up. Mm, okay, you think you've done a runner? Well, you're definitely not here, because we would see that. Oh, hello. Okay, we've found something. Uh, uh, Caribbean class, I think going surprisingly slowly and is now dead. Okay, that's good. Yeah, sure. We're nice guys. Oh. And we found perhaps a heavy cruiser? No, just a light cruiser. We will still mercilessly chase it down. Uh, oh, and it landed the first hit. Outrageous. We've hit it with a six inch gun. Come on. Get the big shells involved. Here we go, 14 inch shell crashing through with Drood. Let's bring our speed down a little bit to help our accuracy. Two more, just six inch hits, so they're all going to be doing damage though. Ah, 14 inch hit, that's what we want to see. I mean, what weight are you? 6,000 tons. Looks like we're going to cut her off as well. You do have to watch out for torpedoes, as ever. Oh no, she just made it wrath. I'm going to have to increase my speed again or she's going to get away. Though she may have picked up a heavy speed anyway. She should be able to outrun us, being a light cruiser. But we haven't done enough damage. Okay. Disappointing, but such is life. And I think that's maybe all the forces they had with them. Yeah. And it was. One light cruiser, two destroyers. Didn't give a light cruiser kill, which is annoying because we really want that to um, bring down their fleet value. We lost the Corvette. Fine. That's okay. I'll take that. That was a. a not exactly exciting, but yeah, minor victory. Seems reasonable. And we are at least putting a small dent in their 
destroyer uh, advantage that they have. Okay, some advances in subdivision damage control. So we get, okay, I appreciate that. And some new fighters. All right, let's have a quick look at these. Okay, much faster, much faster. Range, marginal improvement in range. Firepower, removal, toughness, all the same, but an improvement. So I think this is the winner here. Um, essentially just has range. All right, give me them. Yeah. Um, heavy fighting in China. Fortifications holding up our advance. Disappointing to see. Right, let's go to our aircraft types. We want to request a proposal for new aircraft, and we would like a dive bomber. Pretty please. Uh, what do I want from you? I, I want to carry a big bomb to start with. I mean, apart from that, possibly range. I think range. Hit hard, go far. Eventually, when you get to reasonable bomb size, you can start less. I don't need to focus more on bomb weight. I need to think more probably on uh, probably toughness to get through. But that'll do in the first instance because I think our two two hundred fifty pounds a minute for our dive bombers, and we're up to five hundred. Yeah, something a bit chunkier would be nice. Okay, so we haven't got fine continues in China apparently, despite there being no French fleet presence. Which I kind of I get makes sense because it doesn't ultimately give you victory on land, but obviously this is a naval game. Uh, fine continues here. We've won both battles in support of land combat, so I'd like to think things are going to go in our favour, but yeah. never quite the way it works. We've got four months and we get another battleship out and about, which is good to see. We've got a little bit of money built up, and I think we're probably going to just do another batch of uh, destroyers. We could look at Almanac for our overall fleet composition. Um... What's our total number of destroyers? Yeah, still 15. 15 is pretty low. France Agency with 42. Uh, I do think we need more light cruisers. This probably the next. Biggest shortage, I mean, uh, carriers is, yeah. But I think we're not going to worry about that for this war. I think first we need is another batch of destroyers. Do we still have a reasonably new design? We do. From a couple years ago. We could, um, we could, we could, Do a version of it. If I wanted to uh, in the design, what improvements have we got? <clears throat> 16 tons, apparently. I don't feel like much has changed. I can't remember what we've got. Have we got dual purpose 5 inches now? I think we got that. Yes. Okay, so we could essentially make an upgraded Malia with. Um, Bigger guns. Can we go all the way up to 2000? Okay, I'm just going to say essentially it's a brand new ship. Yes, we can make this work. It's just like a slightly bigger, slightly better version. Uh, we don't have any secondaries, we don't have any tertiaries, so that's fine. What have we got in here? I like the lots of torpedoes. Depth charges. Yes. Although it is we're gonna have something something needs to give. We could just do that, I suppose. Pretty perfect. I would like maybe a little bit more on the A side of things, but c'est la vie. Uh and yeah, there we go. So you can the same speed as the ones we just built. I need to I need to give it a new name. There we go. That'll do yeah, I think that's quite nice. Untick that because no need. All right, so it's not quite uh, just a tweak to design, but I think it's a good, a solid upgrade to the uh, destroyers that we have. Perfect. Okay, and we'll bring things to a close here. So uh, this was not the decisive smash the French fleet and run unabashed through the, the Mediterranean that I was really hoping for. We have, in fact, we didn't even see a single carrier or light carrier, um, which is frustrating. And I, I, partly, I think. Our speed is not great for our battle cruisers. Obviously, they're a little bit old. You know, if actually, if I don't think speed of anything we have is pretty good, to be honest. Uh, I like cruisers getting up there. You know, if we had a, a more of a cruiser force, maybe we'd be able to catch them a bit easier. 
But uh, but yeah, anyway, can't do much about that, so we're going to close here, and we'll head next time, hopefully, defend one island and conquer a peninsula. But we'll see you then. Cheerio.